Hi, I got asked tonight the question, how do you get a gun to fire without pulling the trigger? And the basic answer to that is that it's impossible. The trigger mechanisms in firearms are the last point of safety in the design of the system. And they are designed specifically to not let the gun fire unless the trigger is released. Now, modern firearms have all kinds of engineering mechanisms buried deep inside them that have interlocks and disconnectors and other types of mechanisms that prevent the firearm from firing unless the trigger is properly depressed. That basically means that there's a very good reason why one of the cardinal rules of gun safety is that you don't put your finger on the trigger until you're on your target and you're ready to shoot. Now, there's one gun where it is actually possible, and in fact, in some cases, people de deliberately set them up to do this, so that you can bypass the trigger mechanism without knowing it because the gun has characteristics that allow that to do so. And that gun happens to be the Colt Single Action Army. A gun designed back in the 19th century. And uh, it has a the characteristic that it is possible to set, to, to, to actually work the mechanism so that you fire around without resetting the trigger. And let me show you first, first thing about gun safety, all right? We make sure that the, the, the thing is unloaded, and I'm gonna show you that it's unloaded by basically showing you, I'm trying to get the light right, but that each of the chambers in the cylinder are empty. That was six, we'll go around again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is an empty gun, all right? Normally, and one of the things that you, you, you do with these things is um, you, this is the hammer cocked, ready to go. The trigger is, um, is, is all set. And essentially you normally would at that point bring the gun, depress the trigger, and that's how it goes. Normal rules for if you're not ready to fire yet, you keep your finger outside the trigger, okay? And, 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 and that way you're not touching it. it. Basically means it won't go off. Now, the thing about this, pi this particular pistol is that um, there is a mechanism wherein you bypass the, uh, the, the trigger mechanism. Normally the pressure required to operate the trigger when the gun is cocked is discernibly high. You can, you can tell what's going on. But when the gun is uncocked, if you happen to put your finger on the trigger and grab the gun inappropriately, it's not a lot of pressure. And what that does is when that tiny bit of pressure goes in there, it releases the sear and the gun is now free to fire because there's no, you've bypassed the safety mechanism that prevents the thing from going off. And what happens is there's a technique that trick shooters use to get this gun to go faster called fanning the hammer. And the technique to do that is while the hammer is down, you grab a hold of the gun and squeeze on the trigger. And basically you've already pulled the trigger at which point you fan the hammer, all right, which rotates the cylinder. And a second, the second you let go of the hammer, it fires. Two, three, four, five, six, right? So basically, if you get a novice or somebody that doesn't know what they're doing and they grab the gun and they don't know to keep their finger off the trigger, all right, or they forget to keep their finger off the trigger and they grab the gun like this and flick the hammer. And each time they do it, they're placing the, they're, they're rotating a new cylinder, uh, a, a new chamber in the cylinder into battery, releasing it, and the firing pin is going down on it. If there happens to be a loaded round in there, it can go off. All right. 
But the bottom line is that cardinal rule becomes even more important with older designs like this, where there aren't disconnecting mechanisms to prevent the cylinder from rotating. There aren't any of those kinds of safety mechanisms that sort of came into play as the engineering improved in gun design. It's a very old design. It's very rudimentary. It has the advantage for certain people that want to use it for trick shooting that it's very, very fast. But that's a specialist art and not something that a novice should be, should be playing around with. And, and that's something that you have to remember at all times, that these are still complex mechanisms that need to be respected. So once again, follow that cardinal rule of gun safety, right? Don't put your finger on a trigger until you're on target, ready to shoot at something you intend to hit, all right? And treat every gun as if it's loaded. Always check. It doesn't matter that I've shown it to you, if I were to hand it to you, check it again. And then when the next person gets it, they should check it again. Those are just basic safety procedures that are important to stick with at all times. This is a gun where it's so easy to get the thing to basically